Hey guys, Tyler's also awesome too here. Today I'm not at my house. I'm at this um this uh, farm with a pool and Wi-Fi. I mean, and I love this place. I like to come here again, but um, I'm just showing you because because I like to show my viewers. Well, like, farms are nice to live in, and you get to make money easy, you get to, um, get to, um, well, you get to live out in the wilderness, kind of, you get to experience nature a bit more, and, well, you, um, Well, that's about it. Um, um but that's not the point of, here, of this video, isn't it? I think you read the title. I think you can see what I'm going to talk about. Okay, kind of is, since, you know, well, it's important. I'm here because it's a 4th of July party, you know. Before the 4th of July, you know, 4th of July parties are kind of just, well, well, we, they have, we have them like two days before 4th of July, so, so, it was, July. I had the party, yes, I was at the party yesterday, that party happened yesterday, but, um, why is this important? Well, I'll tell you. And yes, I did have fun at the party. It was a blast. Fourth of July is where we celebrate America. Red, white, and blue. With this Fourth of July special episode, it's also on my grandma's birthday today, so. Also, but I'm just gonna jump to Cray. It's the 10 year anniversary of the Amazing Spider Man fran movie franchise. I mean, yeah. You know, the movies. That were host, you know, you know the movies that Sony originally just made. So Hasbro, I mean, Sony could keep the rights. I meant to say Sony. I said Sony. Sony could keep the rights to Spider Man. And well, they want to spy a franchise, but in the same universe, but that didn't work. They go go on to their Morbius and Venom things, but um, aside from that, they. Those are probably separate universes, probably, so. Yeah, I mean, I was still, like, it's a 10-year anniversary of that, of that, of the first I mean Spider-Man movie. We all talked about, I already talked about, about the, uh, I seen Andrew, Drew and Toby be in the movie, so. I mean, I, I, I mean, another movie, not the first movie, Spider-Man film. I mean, seen them in Returning, in, in No Way Home, so, and get to see their villains. I mean, they only did one per movie, so. Lizard, yeah, this was the live-action debate of the Lizard, and there was a Walmart DVD sneak peek thing that came with. The, with a mini comic version of the first appearance of the lizard, and it was a big thing, thing deal, deal. Even if the movie had its flaws, I mean, Spider-Man one suit is so unique. I mean, it was probably the best redesign of the classic suit. I was like, I mean, I mean, this was this movie came out fifty years after Spider-Man first appeared in Amazing Fantasy fifteen. I mean. I mean, yeah. This, I mean, this was a movie was a big deal. I mean, also it came out ten years after the first Spider-Man film, which was four years after the first Iron film, which was four years after Spider-Man's man's first appearance. But let's uh, let's focus on guess on. Yeah, we can talk about. 
about how I loved seeing the villain, the, the past villains, like, like how Lizard kind of looks different in No Way Home than he did. He did. Than he did the first has a movie where he, where he, um, where he now has sharper teeth and more jelly knives. I mean, and my boy Electro kind of almost feels like a different character. I mean, it's still Jimmy Fox playing the role, but though he acts more, I mean, man, wow. He is different. Don't. I, I, anyways, I mean, I love, I kind of like these movies almost as much as Raimi. I mean, Raimi will always be my, ch will always be my Spider-Man, but, um, this is, this is just, well, I mean, I also have pas love passion for the Mark Webb films. I like both the, I, my, one of my favorite suits is, my favorite redesign of the classic suit. Um, probably my favorite Spider-Man suit is the Tasm 1 suit. I mean, we all love the Tasm 2 suit too, but um, I mean, that suit was a masterpiece despite the movie not being the best. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's a, yeah, the suit's a masterpiece. Yeah, I'm, that's what I'm saying. But these films... I was still 12 when The Amazing Spider-Man films came out, so... I mean... I mean, this... These films were... The first film had a darker tone. And didn't need to have the great power, great responsibility thing spelled out to us. It's... Not that, well, not good, I mean, I mean, it's trying to differentiate itself from the Raimi trilogy. I get that. No need to try to be like, like Raimi. It's not that way. Okay, yeah. And we can all complain about fear being... Predestined to be Spider-Man, but um, I might make a make a video and video and why that bullshit in, in a different way and how how well you could not have been destined to be Spider-Man, but um, I might make that its own video. So yeah, I'm just gonna. Talk about not talk about that. I mean, I like these films, and I mean, happy 10 year anniversary, Tasm 1 and Tasm franchise. You'll, you'll always have a weird place, you'll always have a place in the world with the, with the, um, well, as Marvel and Spider-Man. Well, anyways, I think you know the drill. Like, thumbs up, subscribe, notification, blah, blah, blah. That was awesome, too. Peace.